So there's four different versions that you can make here. Uh, version A is what I'm going to go for. So that gives me tank number 213 or tank number S45. Both Russian front ones. So what they mean is you have to look out for what you want. So for version B, C and D, that's the one sprocket. Version A is that socket so b4 and b3 for the late production sprockets first of all so there we are the late production sprockets which means the early production sprockets go into the spares box this is the hole with the suspension arms it's all cut out and prepared and cleaned up already so i'm going to stick all that together and then i can put a base coat on that before i start tackling the wheels that's the hole done what an absolute dream so, those little axles there, they slot in because there's perfectly shaped kind of hole for it with sort of like part of it blocked off. These, you've got the one hole that you pop the glue in and you've got a little stud which you pop some glue on and then you push these in and there's, you know, obviously the bit that goes through plus there's a little hole for the stud. So that's perfect. And then on the rear panel, where the um, molding had dried and shrunk or what have you set, it was ever so slightly tilted in, which meant when I put that in, it held it nicely tight. So you just had to literally push it apart ever so slightly just to get it to fit nicely. And then it's held it in position lovely while the glue sets. So really pleased with how easily and how well the lower hull has gone together. Same with these front sprocket hubs. Okay, they went on really easy. So, all ready for painting that. As I'm mixing up the paint for the hull, I may as well do the wheels as well at the same time. Okay, so that's all my wheel halves. Okay, I've cut them off the sprues, cut out the centre bit, so I've got the minimum amount of trimming. The only thing is I should have maybe left the half hubs on there and just taken off the ones I wanted and put them on, but I didn't. So tough all right time to get started then well that's all looking rather nice isn't it so all those bits that i need immediately are ready to begin with so once that's all dried off i can start painting the road wheels black all the tires on the road wheels black and then pop it all on so idler wheels sprocket road wheels and then those uh, little brackets there at the front so that'll be stages three and four and five final bits for today so my idle wheels have been stuck together and i've painted the tires on the road wheels on one side only so far of the two sprues worth. That's taken me half an hour and driven me absolutely nuts. I hate that bit. And also stuck on this little riveted plate, whatever that's for. So that's the state of play up to today. Good work done. I can't wait to finish these wheels because I absolutely hate doing the wheels. All the road tires are all painted up. Time to cut them out and put them on. That was a laborious job. Well, I've assembled all the different wheels into the the format they're supposed to be for fitting and it's actually really quite complicated it's a bit of a mess uh made a mess of it the first time i tried to pop them on but they just slide on um <laughs> yeah it's all quite confusing so hopefully when the glue's dried on all of these i will be able to crack on with that bit well that's the wheels on and what an absolute pig of a nightmare that was the instructions weren't very clear there's like all this and then all that numbers not matching up it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a sod but i think they're all on okay i've had to resort to super glue to finish it off but um they all should revolve next stage front armor plate engine access hatch fitted to the uh deck so i've put the uh front armor plate and i've put the engine access hatch and I'm going to have the hatches open, so I've put in these little hinges here, the tiny weeny little bits there, A22, and uh, 
A31, the machine gun barrel, and B13, the little um, handles I'm leaving off for now because obviously they're quite fragile. So I'll wait until it's all fitted onto the top on the next stage. This uh, has been cut out. This will go on the front here. So that's going to go something like that. Okay. I've then got all the little bits and pieces. So there's bits of exhaust. Oh, I've put the tracks together. Okay, I need to paint those. I need to spray them up. So bits of exhaust. There's bits of exhaust there. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah. All these bits, shackles, and all sorts. So that's all cut out, ready to fit on. So it's all ready to rock and roll. Well, the deck's all stuck on. Went on really nicely. Actually, really easy. And that bit slotted in perfect, clicked into place. It was like putting Lego together, to be honest. So now I'm going to start putting all these little fiddly and fancy little farty bits on. Right, I've been attaching stuff onto the top and rear. So hatches, headlights, S mine projectors. Okay, so the hatches I've put partially open. A few little bits and bobs on there. The exhaust, I've just run a bit of black on that bit because that's going to be inside. That's got another cover going over it. Um, got exhausts here now this is interesting i've had to cut these bits of nylon i've got to get some super glue and attach the nylon tube onto those bits and onto those bits and that will fit on there and come onto those bits um quite quite complex that i don't know whether to stick it there now or whether to leave that until i've done the painting or put those bits on without sticking the nylon on that's how it's got to look ultimately so yeah well I'm not particularly clear on how those bits fit see that's the funny thing there's quite a few bits of these that just you can't work out how it fits on so yeah not really 100% sure all the time so these are all the tools and the cables that attach to the deck I've cut them out trimmed them up stuck them down ready to paint so I'm on the turret and gun now. So there we go. Let's start with that. You've got a choice of two different mantles for the early and late production models. Okay. I've got the late production one for version A and B. There we go. So that's the turret put together. We've got the two seats there as well, fitted in position. Gun mantle that moves up and down. So now I'm going to pop the top on as well. Yeah, that's pretty. All fits nicely. I've had to make holes there. Um, so I can attach spare tracks as extra armour. Not 100% certain yet if I'll fit it. It depends. Um, but I can always fill them if not. But at least they're in the right place if I do use it. Next I've got to do all the, the hatches and, and bits like that. There you go. And the couplers to go on there. And also obviously I've got to stick the gun barrel together. So the turret's complete. The gun, the mantle, the little mine shooters or smoke shooters whatever uh there's a little pin at the side there for some reason little hatches there the rommel kister back box the uh hatches um they're all done all done and dusted that's all together so the only thing left to do is to stick the bits of track around the side if i'm going to do it i've still got obviously these bits here for the exhaust i've taken the pipes off because i didn't think they were in the right position so i'll put that all together once that's sprayed up on the deck i've got the side skirts that goes over the exhaust pipes and there's a machine gun barrel because i don't want to bust that off that goes at the front there and that's quite fragile and i need to put the tracks on and all my little deck accessories but we're there there we go so i've sprayed the red manganese color for the spare track links it's gone side of the hull, so that's that done. And I've also blasted the tracks with a mixture of sort of matte aluminium for a few bits of shine here and there, and then some of that same colour, the track link colour, blasted with a bit of brown and a bit of grey. So it's all quite random. So that's cool. So I'm going to pop those on at the wheels now right there we go let's get the airbrush out so i've put the track on as well now uh what i've got to do is fit these skirts i've got to give another coat on that side for the airbrush that'll fit on the side there 
Um, I need also to mask off the tracks while I spray that lot. So yeah, we are in the final position. I really don't like the wheels on this model. So I've got my mask on, compressor is on, paint is in the airbrush, and the turret is ready. So let's have a look. Let's stick a base coat on. I reckon that is looking pretty awesome. And now for the main body. <laughs> Well, that's looking brilliant. But now we need to add some camouflage, don't we? Green stripes. There we go. The green and the yellow. It's not dried yet. That's all done. How it will look when it does completely dry, I don't yet know. So I've had to go quite close. Um, with the airbrush turn down the pressure, but it's like obviously thicker in the center and there's quite a Large demarcation on that. So I may have to do some post processing as it were um, Some more spraying or uh, Maybe just with the weathering or something like that, but how does it look? Um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's not a color scheme. I love but it was um an effective one and it was one that should be so yeah well it's all dried nicely i'm putting the exhausts on it's not going well because i've got a really dodgy type of yuhu super glue it's half empty very thin it's gone everywhere and it don't stick uh, except on my hands so i've painted up all my little accessories so i've got to start putting them on i've got to put the side crosses on first before i do the cables though. Well, I was hoping to get this finished today before I went. Uh, it's mostly done, but not quite so. Uh, it's literally down to that bastard super glue, which I'm going to take back, change on my way. So I haven't been able to do the exhaust. Everything else is on pretty much. I've just got to put the little brackets that go across the top there on those. But we've got all the tools and machine gun and everything in. Okay, so everything's attached. That's the few bits that still need to go on. So the exhaust bits and those brackets. That moves, my machine gun moves. So that's gonna be painted track color. And then it's a case of whizzing around and weathering everything. I'm just gutted that I couldn't get it done. But that is my Tiger One, state of play for now. Well, everything is stuck on and stuck together. It's all now complete. My machine gun moves nicely. Everything's ready now for airbrushing. The only thing I haven't yet done is put turret numbers on. Quite frankly, I'm not sure where the bloody hell they'd fit. I've done a bit of weathering, so I've darkened up over the exhaust and so on. And uh, the muzzle of the gun. Now we're going to go from matte 29, a nice little blast of brown earthy colour, especially around the wheels. Well it's all complete now, 